welcome you to ESPN's coverage of the 2011 Sears Bracket Busters. Tonight, from the Colonial Athletic Association, the VCU Rams, 20-8 overall, face Wichita State. The Shockers, the first Missouri Valley Conference team this season to hit the 22-win mark. But Joe Radlin sometimes goes a little too fast for his own good, and that was a perfect example. Burgess. Drops that three-pointer. So smaller than ever. Nice in-bounds play. Just what we talked about. Greg Marshall is livid. With a big bucket. Rodriguez from three. Right back at you. Making the defense rotated. He had nowhere to throw it. Rodriguez. Nice ball movement. Three-pointer. Yep, got it. Wichita State. Murray's first bucket. He averages 10 a game. Scheme. From three, wide open, drops it. Three, they're gonna have to force one up. Off in time, and chased down by Wichita State. Lazell, the pickoff. Strong take, and the layup, and the lead goes back That's to the Rams. So they're gonna wind up, nobody in the lane. Really get the big spacing. Now roll the guy down low. And a huge arcing three-pointer from Jamie Skeen. The threes, now that they've extended again, they're trying to go inside. And this has been a huge weapon. Who saw this coming? Reddit with the board and the putback. Wichita State's 14 for 26. That's not too shabby. Another three-pointer and another made three ball for VCU. Ten on the shot clock. Rodriguez manufacturing his own shot. Goes righty. And the follow! Where did Beal come from? They're not sure what's going on defensively. Now it's man to man. Just go back and run your stuff. There it nice is. Nice ball. The freshman with the flush. He says, I don't care what you're playing. I'm just going through it. Another assist for Rodriguez. The easy dunk for Reddick. Good ball move. Murray, strong take. Blocked. Big defensive stand by the Rams. Skeen, how about that defensive stand? And a wide open look here. Burgess drops it. Burgess bullies his way down low. Counted in the foul. Just would not be denied right there. He's under a minute and a half. He's got to throw it there. He has him. Yes, sir. Now make some moves. Rizal from three. He was hit. They didn't call it. He drops it. See, they're going to go. Here it is. Joey Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Puts it up. It's short, but he is fouled. And Rodriguez, the best Ram free throw shooter, will go to the line with point two. Sixth tie of the evening. And Marshall saying if he makes it, call that timeout. So he wants to draw a play. Rams with the lead. Shockers with the timeout. Here's Durley, you look for him, there's the shot. It's off in time, in and out! And a huge road victory for VCU. Live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as the golden flashes of Kent State will try to collect their sixth straight Bracket Busters win at the Daskalakis Center here in Philly, the Drexel Dragons home court. They definitely are tough enough for this Drexel team is averaging 40 rebounds a game, and they really love to get on the offensive glass. And that's one of their strong points. Here's Guyton, strong to the bucket. Coles, three on two. Putback is good. Back to a one-point ball game. The acrobatic reverse, no, but the putback is there by he is doing a good job in this 2-3 zone. It's really slowing down the Drexel team. Another chance for another three-point play. Sammy Gibbons. The screen and roll. They get it back down to their man on the low post. Gibbons back out to Coles. And he gets the three to fall. Not in the least. He's among the Mid-American Conference's best players. Top 15 in several statistical categories. But the run just continues as Fouch buries the three. And uh, they, they, he was at a local junior college, and, and they this kid walked into their locker room, and lo and behold, he, he was at Kent State. And he Drexel to make an outside shot. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It just kind of goes against conventional wisdom. 
And Sammy Gibbons, a high percentage shooter when he gets the ball that close to the rim. And they go to the low post. Terrific ball movement to again find Gibbons on the low block. Ball mishandled. And it goes back to Drexel. A tough decision by Rodriguez. I mean, he had a couple of guys open on the left wing and uh, elected to pass it inside. That's a big bucket there. Joe, have you ever got a pass, right? <laughs> Definitely a pass. It was a pass. 28 years. <laughs> Another strong move to the bucket by Sammy Gibbons. Yeah, I like the CEA, Joe. We got to get the CEA. Three teams in this tournament. <laughs> VCU with a big win. Old Dominion is going to be in. George Mason is hot. Larry Nagas got that team rolling. We got Hostra. Drexel is going to hold off and win tonight. I'm looking at three teams in the CAA. CAA. And neither do you. <laughs> CAA. Joe. CAA. All right, fellas. Once again, our final score. Drexel 73, Kent State 66. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.